Hey there, history buffs and tech enthusiasts. Buckle up as we travel back to 1440 to a German town called Mainz, where Johannes Gutenberg is about to make his mark. Imagine a world where books are a luxury, and along comes Gutenberg with his groundbreaking movable type printing. This genius move was about to make books affordable and widespread, setting the stage for a whole new era of knowledge sharing. Born into affluence around 1400 in Mainz, young Gutenberg got a top-notch education at a local monastic school. Then, like any mysterious figure, he dips off the radar, only to pop up in Strasbourg in 1434. There, he's making bank with these shiny mirrors for pilgrims. Woodcut printing was the big thing back then, but it was a major hassle, carving out each page by hand. As the demand for books spiked with the rise of universities and libraries, the need for a quicker, uniform way to make them was super clear. Cue Gutenberg's light bulb moment back in Mainz, where he scores some solid financial backing to bring his vision to life. Gutenberg's got this wild idea to break up text into individual parts, letters, pronunciation, the works, and create movable blocks for printing. This means he can use and reuse letters and punctuation to create pages over and over. The dude invents a hand casting instrument to churn out these letters in lead and voila, the printing party starts for real. Fast forward and Gutenberg's all about that printing life, making official papers and even tackling the Latin Bible. His print shops cranking out Bibles with Gothic vibes, hand decorated with fancy initials and artwork. This wasn't just some book. It was a major hit, proving print could be just as fancy as handwriting. Gutenberg's printing press sparked a wildfire of media revolution, igniting print shops all over the place, from Cologne to Venice, where a guy named Aldus Minutius is printing up a storm for the scholarly crowd. And just like that, the media world as we know it begins to take shape. But let's not sugarcoat it. Gutenberg's own story wasn't a fairy tale. He got into a financial mess, lost his press, and even ended up in exile. He died in 1468, kind of broke, but not forgotten. The man's been hailed as the Millennium's MVP for kicking off the media revolution. So there you have it. Johannes Gutenberg, the OG tech pioneer whose printing press flipped the script on history and set the scene for our modern media world.